Hi, I'm Kelsey, and welcome to... No, 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 no. Stop hogging all the spotlight. Hey, Hi, I'm Sean. No fighting. I'll just do it. No, no, we've all done it already. We need someone new. Well, well who hasn't done it yet? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Let's get her! Woo! Hi, I'm Katie, and I guess this is the nightly news and not a kidnapping. <sighs> We've got stories on girls basketball and blue wave today. Girls basketball had a great season. Let's check in for more. Hi, this is Ethan for the nightly news, and I've come to tell you that we are going to interview the girls basketball team today. Now, the girls have had a really good season this year. Some people are saying it's the best in field course history. Now, we're going to talk to the players and get their point of view on things, and I have a couple extra questions for them. So, let's go. Hello, this is Ethan for the Nightly News, and I'm with Claire, Kiana, and Gwen. And they're on the girls' basketball team. Now, um, girls, how many games have you won so far? We've won 23 games, which in past seasons, the most any girls' teams ever won is 18, so it's a good big accomplishment for us. That's cool, that's cool. And people are saying you girls are having the best season in field cross history. What are your comments on that? Um, yeah, we have done a lot of firsts this year. We brought home hardware from all of our tournaments, which is not very common. And we got third in conference, and we beat a state-ranked team. So that is a big accomplishment for us. Wow. Your coaches must be really happy. <laughs> <laughs> so are your girls pumped for the regional championships? Yeah, because last year they're the team that beat us in regionals, so we want to beat them this year. Yes, that's a must. So, are you guys going to do any sports in college? I'm not playing any sports in college. I might run in college, but I haven't completely decided yet. And I might play volleyball. Okay, but no basketball? Oh, well. <laughs> but here we are with the team captains for the girls basketball team, and we will see you next time. Well, as you can see, the girls are really pumped for this game, and I'm pretty pumped too. I want to see them win more than anything. And as they said, um, this is the best season in field cross history for them, and I'm sure Coach Neely is very proud of them. A whole school should be. And for the nightly news, this is Ethan. Congrats to us for on our record-breaking season. Of course, supporting the girls' basketball team and boys' basketball team this year were the crazy guys and girls of the Blue Wave. Come on, Chantel. Come on, Chantel. Come on. Chantel, come on, you can do it. Get pumped. Get pumped. Come on. What's going on here? Blue wave. Get pop! Hi, I'm Sam. And you might recognize these guys next to me from the sideline of your local basketball game. Braden, tell me, what goes into being a leader of the blue wave? Um, well, to be a leader, you just have to be able to get the crowd really pumped up and get even like the parents and fans and all them pumped up. And our blue wave section, get them going because then that'll help out the players and it'll just help the whole atmosphere feel good and right. Great answer. Josh, do you feel like the fan section is crucial to the team's success? Yes. I think we make them succeed very, I don't know, what do you want to say? Good? Great? I don't know. But yeah. All right. One final question. What do you guys have planned for the rest of the year? Well, I guess it's Really just going to be a surprise for people. It's big stuff, though. Can you elaborate on that? Huge. Just huge. Well, there you have it. Um, so here's your makeup math test. I didn't do very well. Let's test English. Let's test English.
guys, you gotta clap in rhythm. Come on, it's not that hard. I think everyone knows our school's not too good at that. Thanks for your support. Let's see what events are coming up. Well, that's our show. We'll see you in another edition of your nightly news. Now, someone untie me. Guys! Guys! Hey, don't go yet. This is Justin. Hi, I'm Kelsey here for the nightly news. Now, have you ever felt the feeling of bright lights on you on stage? Now, I know some of the cast has a Footloose has. Now, let's go talk to them. Hi, I'm Kelsey here with Maddie and Clay. Now, what are your guys' roles? Uh, I play Willard. Who is he? Uh, he is sort of like a down-to-earth country boy who is afraid of being himself. Um, I play Rusty, and I'm Ariel's best friend, and I'm like head over heels for Willard, which is weird, but that's what happens. <laughs> and how have rehearsals been? Um, they've been getting a little more stressful just because we've been getting closer to, like, the weekend of the play, but so far everybody's been having a fun time, and I'd say they've been going pretty good. Ditto. And how is your guys' roles challenging? Well, I have to talk fast, which is normal for me, but I have to talk fast and sound okay-ish, so it's kind of challenging to do that, in a sense, so... Uh, for me, it's probably that I have to be more of a country hick than I'm used to being. And uh, when I start off, I don't get to dance a lot, so it's hard to not get to be part of the big uh, like dances that we have. And that's not very fun, but eventually I get to become part of them. So it's probably the most challenging part. And why should people come see the show? Uh, probably because you'll be able to see how much fun everybody's having and how much fun everybody thought it was in general and just uh, how much work goes into it. It's just a great show. I, it's great music and it's a nice feeling when you watch it and you just watch as the two couples come together and there's some hardships and there's some great moments and just a great musical all together. Well thank you guys so much and good luck. Hi I'm here with Kirsten and Luke and what are your guys' roles? Um, I play Ariel Moore. And who is she? Um, she's like the rebellious preacher's daughter. Um, I'm playing Ren McCormick. He's a uh, teenager from Chicago who moves to a super small town named Beaumont with his mom. And uh, when he gets there, he learns the hard way that dancing is illegal. And uh, for reasons that I will not give away, unless you've already seen the movies, in which case you already know, but um, he essentially sees a problem with the way that the people in Beaumont are living and decides to stand up and help them. Mm -hmm. And uh, he sort of kind of loves to dance, which is an important character trait of his, I think. <laughs> and what is your favorite part so far? Um, I'd say probably rehearsals. Um, getting to dance with everybody is really fun and learning new dance moves from our choreographer it's really, really fun, and um, it's kind of like a workout, too, so that's, that's really fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for me, Footloose is one of my favorites, so just to be able to bring it to life with people that I enjoy spending time with is really special. And how is this show different from the past ones? Well, fun fact, this is the first time that Field Crest High School has put on this musical, which I think is pretty cool, but um, for me, the singing in the show, I've never really gotten to sing like this in front of people before, so that's been interesting. Um, the dancing, uh, the dancing in Footloose is what you'd expect. We're not messing around this year. Mm -hmm. And um, being someone that loves to dance, I, um, I watch our choreographer, Mrs. Freeze, show us the steps and I kind of like geek out because it's, it's really cool and really fun. And lastly, the acting. Um, 
Acting is my most favorite thing to do in the universe, and Footloose is a drama. It's got a handful of really funny moments, but it's a drama, so to be able to go on this emotional journey with this character is really great. Um, for me, um, it's really different from like the shows I've been in the past because, like in Greece, I was Rizzo, and I was just like a like snotty, popular, whatever. <laughs> and so in um, Footloose, I'm Ariel's like half and half. She's like really good and she's really bad. So like around her parents, she acts all nice and innocent, but then when she's not, she's a completely different person. So that's really interesting for me to play two different like personalities. Um, and obviously the dancing is a lot more than we're used to. And for me, especially, it is really difficult because I'm in a lot of the little dancing things, like little groups. Um, but it's really fun. <laughs> so when is the show? April, April 7th, 8th, and 9th. Do what you want and want to come see Footloose. Bye. Fine. <laughs> we have a story to tell you. I can't work with her. He's actually really terrible. Like, absolutely horrible. We, like we fight all like, of the Like, I just want to slap him in the time. face, like, literally every She moment. has. She slapped me in the face so many times. And he fell on the ground and got it's a ridiculous. bruise. It's fine, though. I had to be hospitalized. For three days. Could you stop? Could you just stop? I'm going to lose it. I can't even I'm deal with you. But leave. Go. Sounds like it's going to be a great show. Make sure you go and see it. Now for the nightly news, I'm Kelsey. So come support the cast and see a great show.